Okay, Yumiko Yoshida wants to pay $1,246.80 annual monthly premium. What is his monthly payment? Okay, so when you get a statement, you can pay it every month. You can pay it the entire lump sum. Um, you can pay semi-annually, which is twice a year. You can pay quarterly or you can pay monthly. And a lot of times um, they'll give you a bit of a discount or none at all. But the way we're going to calculate this is they want to know what his monthly premium would be. So we go to the chart and, and it says monthly premiums are 8.5% of the total. So we take that and change it to a decimal, 0 0.085, and then we multiply it by what his annual premium was, which in this case was $1,246.80. And that gives us what his monthly payment would be. Okay, so if he pays monthly, he's going to pay $105.98. Now notice that's different that would than what the answer you would get if you just took this and divide by 12, which is what we usually do. But what happens is for convenience purposes for um, and things like that, they will sometimes charge you a little bit more to pay monthly or quarterly or semi-annually rather than you just paying the full amount. Okay, so that's why it's off just a bit. So when you're calculating this, these, make sure you use the chart down here and don't just use dividing. All right, Luis Huerta has a limited month payment insurance policy until age 65. His annual premium is $946. He wants to pay the premium monthly, and the monthly premium is 8.4% of the annual premium. What is his monthly payment? So again, all we have to do, it says he's going to pay 8.4% if he pays monthly, so we just move the decimal two places to the left, and then multiply by his annual premium. get $79.46.